Now, the medium-sized SUV market is filled with options. Now, how does this Grand Land perform? And do we think that you should spend your money on it or on its competitors? My name is Tiffany and you are watching Kinetic Drive. So the Opal Grand Land starts at 599,900 Rand. And this specific version, which is the ultimate, goes to 720,900 Rand. Now, for all of this, you get 18 inch diamond cut bicolor alloy wheels, paint color body claddings, high gloss black roof rails, chrome side window moldings, front and rear silver skid plate inserts, keyless start power lift gate 12 inch digital cluster 10 inch intellilink infotainment system wireless charger heated and cooled front seats as well as heated rear seats and an agr leather seat trim now for monthly installments you are looking at about 14,758 rand per month and that is on 72 months and a 13.75% interest rate. You are looking just over a million rand for this vehicle. So let's start with design. Just by the way guys, I got my nails done. Please let me know in the comments if you like them. But nonetheless, now I especially like the design of this vehicle and we are going to start with this gloss black visor that we have here we've also got this very predominant opal sign which i really like i think it adds to the aggressiveness of the vehicle and then you've also got the headlights which are and it's quite a mouthful the intellilux led pixel lights okay and they do a really really cool dance when you unlock the vehicle overall I must say, it's the liquor striking design. Now moving to the side, you've got your 18 inch diamond cut wheels. You've got this really nice chrome moldings on the windows. And then as you move to the back, you've got this really big badge, giving that really premium feel to, well, let's be honest, this very expensive car. So let's take a look at the boot. You guys already know I need to make sure that it's Tiffany friendly and already at first glance, I can say I don't need this. <laughs> okay, now if we take a look at what the boot offers, you do have some storage on the sides here, which I like. Not too much, but it's there. You've also got tie down hooks, which is nice. Um, you've got a 12 volt output. So if you are camping, you need some power you're good to go and if we take a look underneath this we do have a spare wheel it is not full size but you do have your toolbox as well which i think comes in a really really cool little storage box overall like i said i can already um, tell you that it is tiffany friendly there's lots of space in this booth and i love it now if your hands are full guys check this nifty little feature now we're sitting at the back of the Grand Land and already we've got our electric windows. We've got our little airplane pockets as I like. You do have the rear heated seats, which is a really nice function to have. You've got a 220 volt output at the back. Also, one of my faves and very, um, very important for me is the ISOFIX. So the kiddies are safe. And besides the, the seats being super comfortable, guys, I like that you can adjust the headrest. So if you are on the long road, these seats can be pretty, pretty comfy. Now, another feature that I do like, you do have your armrest, which has two cup holders, but also you have your ski hatch for your through holding. I must say, at the back, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable, but let's check out the front. Okay, let's continue with the Grand Land interior, guys. Now, just going to pop my phone in the charger. You've got a really, really convenient wireless charger in your storage. As you can see, the light is on, so that means you are good to go. Just pop the key in over there. So let's talk Grand Land, guys. Now, from the moment you walked in, I already noticed you've got memory seats 
on your driver's seat. You've also got electric seat adjustment. However, it's only on the driver's seat and not on the passenger seat. Nonetheless, we move along. You've got your 12 inch digital cluster in front of you, as well as your 10 inch. Now, let me get this right. The IntelliLink infotainment system. Now, it does come with your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Over here, you can also control the aircon. However, you do have your aircon controls down here as well. Nice thing about this, you've got your heated as well as your cool seats for both passenger and driver seats. And interesting function in here. You've got a heated windscreen, guys. So with those chilly cold mornings you can heat up your windscreen now you've got some storage below here as you can see i'm very much utilizing it but you've got a 12 volt output as well as a usb input over there got some buttons over here empty buttons not something that we are a fan of on kinetic drive nonetheless and you can also control the child lock on there now i really like this gear lever it's very futuristic and also it fits perfectly into my hand okay we've got your different drive modes and that's where you can select your different drive modes and then you've got your electronic handbrake now in the center you've got your two cup holders some more storage over here and then an adjustable armrest and as you've seen earlier does double up as some more storage in this vehicle now i did forget to mention two very interesting features as well we've got the heated steering wheel over here as well as your flappy paddles should you want to change your gears manually overall guys i'm really in love with the grand lands interior and now let's take it on the road hello guys how are you all of you <laughs> how are you Nia? <laughs> i'm okay how are you tiffany I'm good i'm good lovely lovely Opal Grandland. Opal Grandland. The other day when you pulled up in this thing, I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. It looks pretty, looks pretty. Good, no? It does. It looks good. Okay, well, yes, let's talk drive. Um, so this is a 1.6 liter four cylinder, okay, and it is powered by a six speed automatic gearbox. Now, I'm not going to speak to hastily on the drive because i really want to get a feel of it but so far yes your thoughts because you you've really driven oh, driven this baby ah very very nice very 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 nice um up there with some of the nicer small suvs i've driven mm -hmm. um, and i think you're going to feel the same now the suspension is beautiful but before we do that power in kilowatt here tiffany yes let's talk power in kilowatts so you're looking at 121 kilowatts and 240 newton meters of torque not um, bad no for really 160 to turbo really especially in this segment not bad oh, mm. but okay Okay, very, very smooth drive. Very. I must say, even the handling of the steering wheel is very super nice. responsive. Yeah. So smooth. Quite impressed. Okay. I think that was one of the things also that really um, like made me really excited about this car was when I drove it immediately I felt the suspension. Yeah. Um, and, and for me that was a big plus to this car. In, you know, in the segment you must have a comfy suspension. Yes. Let's quickly do what is underpinning here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Citroen Peugeot product now. Mm -hmm. And we are not upset by that. No, not at all. I think the talk of French and French cars are unreliable and stuff like that is old news. Mm -hmm. um, and I think not fair because I know a lot of people that drive Citroen and Peugeots and a lot of them don't have any Anything, issues. No. Yeah. And like you said, it's not fair. I think it is very outdated to have that mindset. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think Opal really came out here and yeah. said, you know what, we're just going to show you a thing or two. Yeah, and I, I agree. Am, I'm quite impressed by this. We've got three cars open in front of us. We've got Opal Grandland, we've got Nissan Qashqai and Kia Sportage. Can you guess what's the most expensive car here? I'm going to take a wild guess he has and say it's the Qashqai. The Sakia Sportage. No. Seven hundred and ninety-eight thousand nine hundred and ninety-five Rand. K 
Kia is officially a premium brand. No? I'm, I'm shook at yeah. the days. Yeah. The Nissan Qashqai 1.3 Turbo, arguably and in my humble opinion, has the best engine across the board here. Okay. The 1.3 Turbo, it's a Mercedes derived engine. And I'm not going to lie, it is brilliant. It's such a good engine. Um, that car is 670,600 Rand. And it certainly has the best sound system of the bunch. Oh, yeah. you, you don't get a name brand here. Um, with the Qashqai, you get the Bose. And um, it's, it's a great sounding, <laughs> it's a great sounding sound system. So yeah, they're supposed to be stopping. I, Why got stopping? Wow, Kia is really um, um, stepping up its game here. But okay, yeah. very surprised at those figures. Now I've, I think I've, dri I have driven one of the Kia Sportages. Yeah. I was not overly impressed. Yeah. Um, it look, it's a nice car. Um, but when it comes to drive, look, I haven't driven the cash guys, mm. so I, I can't do a comparison mm. there. But like, I want to, I want to focus on this quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I mean, a very short road now, but it's so responsive. Yeah. Really? In, in cap safety rating, I don't know if this is right in front of me. We've got a six, a number six airbag quantity, six air, airbags across the board. Um, they've all got front side airbags, they've got driver, they, none of them have got driver knee airbags, brake assist, stability control, EBD, curtain airbags, ABS, traction control, passenger airbag, driver airbag. So quite a lot of airbags quite across a lot the board of here. Airbags, um, yes. The biggest differentiator here is going to be the, the, the warranty. So on the Opel Grandland, it's a five year, 100,000 kilometer. On the Qashqai, it's a six-year, 90,000 kilometer. Mm -hmm. And on the Kia Sportage, it's a five-year, 90,000 kilometer as well. Okay. Um, the warranty distance on all of them is going to be 100,000 kilometer on the Grandland. Mm -hmm. Warranty distance on the Qashqai is going to be 150,000. And the Sportage is unlimited kilometers. Okay, so Kia's out here yeah. to, to win to win yeah. it okay can we, can we please talk about this puffer manta in front of I us i know what I know. You're like flipping I'm, tr I'm trying to i'm trying to keep a distance yeah i'm like, like no. wow oh, i want to so try and the number plates my my lucky number oh, really? nine, i always see the numbers 911 911 that is reason. so cool but very Damn, no? If lady, if you watch watching us video, please can you drive your <laughs> please car? Please let us drive your car. Oh, what a stunning view! Epic, vehicle. epic. Anyway, okay. So yes, um, look, we. I must say the the hill assist whole thing on here is Great. pretty good. Great. I mean, we are on a very high um or steep high road mm. right now, and it's holding itself pretty well. Mm. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, I see we're averaging 9 litres per 100 we, kilometres we as well. We are averaging 9 litres. I just want to get out of these busy roads. Yeah, I know. Down Obviously you want to. I want to feel how it feels. But yes, we are um, looking at 9 litres per 100 kilometres on this baby. Um, did you do any while driving? No, I took it easy. I travelled actually very easy to see what the car is going to give me. Um, it's given us 624 kilometers on a full tank. Okay. And we've got about only 30 kilometers left of range. So not bad at all. Really not bad. Um, okay. Sorry guys, Stephanie's concentrating. Um, yes, I'm actually, I'm just trying to get out of this road. There we go. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we're talking obviously drive, engine, transmission, suspension. I just want to. Okay. <laughs> okay, not bad at all. Um, I am. Look, there's not too much um, of a, a kickback with the. Gear. No, there it's isn't. It's quite smooth, smooth, yeah. Very smooth. Only smooth. six speed automatic. Only yeah. six speed. The, the Sportage is a DCT mm -hmm. dual clutch and the Qashqai is a shockingly awful CVT. CVT. Yeah. Um, but no, overall, nice, nice drive on this. Um, I want to feel it on the corners as well, but I mean, look at this. I'm trying to get faster <laughs> and she's like, I'm 
ready to go. So yeah, quite a little um, a car with an attitude. I like that. I must say, um, we, when I drive, I will talk comparisons a bit more because I have driven all three and I can actually yeah. have the testify to which one I'd walk away with. Um, but don't like overlook this car. No, yeah, please that's don't. Good. Look, I must say, I and I'm going. I am one of those people. Um, when we said earlier about judging the French cars and mm -hmm. you know the Opel and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's something that you wouldn't necessarily go out to buy. Mm -hmm. I must say, my mind has changed. That's good. I am quite. And I feel this is a very rough road. Yes, but I feel you, how you, beautiful you don't feel is. the bumps that right? that much. It holds the corners pretty nice. Yeah. Look at this asshole. Feel this bump here. Just so really smooth. well done. So smooth. So smooth. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with this vehicle. All right, what would I pick between the three comparisons? You're gonna hate the stuff in it. Oh no. Okay. I'll I'm... say, I'll say, the Nissan Qashqai in first, this in second. I know, I know, and. Uh, the Opel Grand in second and the Kia in third place um, because I think the Kia's price is a bit too steep. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have a premium sound system at that price. It's got to cool the cool and seat and the steering wheel like this has, mm -hmm. but the ride isn't as good as is this. It? Yeah. This ride is much better than that car. Um, now, the cash guy, the ride isn't as good as this. But for 680 odd thousand rand, top of the range cash guy, I'm sold on that car. Okay. The thing about the, the cash guys, though, because I've, I've been You've in been, one yeah, and yeah. I've, I've reviewed, yeah. um, did a little video on it. The interior, I, look, I've never driven it, so I can't speak about the drive. But then again, they, they slacked in the interior. The quality here and there isn't as good no. like it is on the, the Opel Grand and which I'm shocked by. But that's a Nissan trait now. There's Nissan's bold quality. I know, right? You know, it just hasn't and been. And it's quite disappointing. Because, mm. like, they're also very good cars, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, so, yes, it's like they, they, they put all their, their attention on the drive and the engine. And, mm. and then when it came to your features. Look, don't get me wrong. The Nissan Qashqai has a lot of good features. Especially yeah. when it comes to the intelligence and yeah. the technology and yeah. stuff. But when it comes to the actual feel of the cabin, the, yeah. the I'm not feeling it there. Yeah. But okay, that, um, it's good to know. Maybe I should get one to drive. Please, and, please and do. But yeah, and, and you know what? This is a good, this is a very good car and I definitely recommend it. But I also want to say, guys, Tiffany has gotten a few um, Kinetic Drive customers some truly great deals on cars here um, on the channel. Um, if you need this Opal, if you want the Grandland, or if you want to know some cash card, if it is you want, please DM um, the channel um, or Tiffany, and she can get you like, like people have been coming to me and saying, oh my word, and he has like, thank you for actually sorting out a, a good deal for us. She even got the customer a nice cashback deal. Exactly, and the thing is, <laughs> let us know what you're looking for, yeah. okay? Um, and we'll, I'll, I'll do my best to assist. To get the best deal, yeah. So that's why we're here. Um, so yeah, or if you would like us to review another specific vehicle, let us know and we can see what we can do. But yes, Nias. <laughs> so I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. very happy. I'm quite yeah. impressed with this Grandland. I'm, I'm actually, I've been laughing all morning because I've been calling it what? An <laughs> out, uh, uh, outland. the whole morning, I have no idea why. <laughs> My head's on Jeep, but um, I am very impressed with this vehicle and overall when it comes to the exterior, the interior, the drive itself, I think I think Peugeot really, really did its thing. I agree, I agree. And Opel always just added the spice on the route. On, myself with the Opel Grandland. Now, honestly, all vehicles are pretty pricey lately, but I do think it is worth it. The interior, the exterior, and the drive all comes together really, really well. Now, I do hear Yaniyaz rather with the Nissan Qashqai, and I will be checking that one out for myself. But I must say, this Grandland has me really, really happy today. And guys, I just want to say once again, thank you for cruising with Kinetic Drive, your road to car bliss. <laughs>